You must merely wait patiently for... Please disperse! The exhibition is closed! What's this about? Oh, let me to give me strength. I can't bear this, please! I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait! Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. What kind of work? Work related to the monument to Reginald Aubrey. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Is. Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry, a giant among lovers, a poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Somebody stole the testicles. Of a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is, thus, you must retrieve those stones. Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must, as long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclerc's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. It will all work out. It must. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call this. Don't worry, Reginald, don't worry. Coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. It will hold her. Quite the fragrant whiff. From. Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Here. Thanks. No, sir. Thank you. 
And I truly hope I'll be of service again. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Tucson. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you, thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Hmm. A professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. Mm. A witcher? Did you hear that? Interrupt, I guess. This, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Psst! Shoes! That's not him! I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? <sighs> That's not my husband. You mean, not... not your husband? Who are you, and why are you in my home? Out! Now, or I'll summon the guards! Calm down. Just here to talk. I... Uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off, you're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. I... Uh, I can explain everything. Um, th this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You and that fancy pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shelikin, skeleton. What the love's this? Rosalinda! One I could forgive you, but two at one time! Wait, got nothing to do with this. <laughs> Take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond! <sighs> got no time for this. Go home. Y yes, that'll be best. I I'm done here. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Mm-hmm. So, time to talk. Uh, Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. 
All right. I admit I stole the stones. And you will never believe it. But they work. Today, Rosalinda and I will. Three times and counting. Three times? Impressive. Isn't it? At my age. That's more than the entire last decade. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal. Hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... They've made me young again. Perhaps I... I could lend them to you. For one more day. What would you say to that? A day is three more rumps at the least. You for deal, sir. I'm back. Shh, shh, not so loud. You wake her. She'll want another go. Wake who? Rosalinda? Uh, Louisa, her cousin. <coughs> she's, she's voracious. Got an inexhaustible appetite. But I'm tapped out. What's it matter that the spirit is willing when the flesh is simply spent? My heart near leapt out of my chest last time. Here, you must take the testes, and Lebioda grant your strength, as I dare say you will need it. Can't pull one over on me, Witcher. I can see you're a killer. Well, have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Lepiotus luscious lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Ah, 